hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is your girl caroline so in this video today i'm actually going to compliment the people that i feel like were the best dressed so um this is gonna be my opinion guys like everybody's entitled to their own opinions so this one is actually mine also take in mind that i am not a fashion guru i am not the best person to advise like i said this is just my opinion so i'll see you right after this break subscribe like and share thank you so much guys for staying with me i actually have 10 women who i feel like dressed up so good and 10 best males who I also personally feel like they were so good. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first one on my list is Handinga. Uh, she is actually Makitu's wife. I actually like this dress because it's like classy and modest. Uh, although it has a slit with me personally, my clothes, most of my dresses should have like a slit. I don't know, it's just something about, you know, um, a woman showing off her legs sometimes because I do show off my legs. So why not? If you got beautiful legs, don't hide them. So that's why I like this outfit because um, she actually looks beautiful. Her makeup is on point. The hair goes with the dress. It's actually classy. It's not too, too much. It's not showing a lot of stuff. But, you know, she looks sexy in that dress. And uh, the second one on my list is this humble looking lady. She's so beautiful. I mean, she looks really nice. As you can see, guys, she has a dress that is not showing most of her body parts. Her makeup is on point. I like the pony. Like, she actually looks neat in it. And also, you know, it's actually like a modest dress. Like, you know. You don't have to show off half of your body part for you to feel you know sexy or for you to get attention or whatever but hey if you do it i'm not gonna judge you you know everybody is entitled to their own opinions if you know somebody can literally do whatever they want actually for me like i said it's just my humble opinion on these best dressed people so which leads me to the next one and uh i actually don't even know the name of this person too like you guys you should understand that I'm not in Zambia anymore, so I do not know most of the names of these people. The only thing I can do is just, you know, compliment, you know, say nice things because I think I actually like the fashion that comes with it. So this lady right here, I don't think I've seen her anywhere. I don't know her name, but I actually like her dress. In the first picture, guys, you have seen that I was complimenting her tinga because it has a slit. So this one too has a slit, y'all. And just, I don't know, the green is just popping, y'all. I like green. Uh, it actually looks classy. It looks like one of those dresses that it could be elasticated, which I love. It also is like a bodycon type, like it's holding, you know, her body real good. So this one right here is the bomb. And next one on the list is this beautiful woman right here. Like she's so cool. I mean, I I think I don't know like if I've seen her anywhere. I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't been in Zambia in such a long time, so I'm missing out on so many things, guys. But this one right here, she's good. I like uh, her hair. It looks neat. She looks flawless. Her lipstick is on fire. Yeah oh my gosh look at her dress it's like that classic dress and this outfit is like a um it's like an outfit you would actually you know like wear when you're going you know to like brunch with you know girlfriends also you can use this outfit for like um what can i say like maybe church or i mean for church yo, i know you guys are gonna <laughs> but uh if she was actually have to pull like uh something you know like i don't know what they call it but it's like uh, a flip like you just hold it like this you know and with that thing i don't know like she just looks beautiful so um it's actually the best outfit for me you know so next one on the list is the diva herself oh mumpy mumpy queen b oh my gosh she is popping in this outfit yo mumpy is the g actually i think i saw online like she's one of the best dressed females like one of the best text y'all this outfit right here what can i 
say i'm actually speechless man be you killed it this is good this dress is nice you know there's something about this dress something something first these decorations that it has the styles you know and uh it's shipping up her uh, waist real good oh my gosh it's not really like flared but yeah it actually has like some stylish or whatever the person who made this there is <laughs> ah 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 man be man be you the g you the g oh my gosh this was amazing y'all like whoever made this dress i need you in my life so next on my list is chi chi daisy i like this woman though she's good i mean she's such a vibe she's one person you know like she's kind of low-key but she entertains people and you know she's so educative too i haven't you know like um done a lot of research on her you know but i do follow her on facebook like she's cool you know like you just can't hit on this woman right here you're just a hater if you do but hey she looks good this dress is nice i like the fact that it shows kind of like a like a let me see is that like blurry i, I really can't say blurry but it's kind of like showing a little bit of a cleavage which is cool because it's not really you know like out you know like your boobs popping and everything but this dress is on fire i mean it's satin like you know and which is classy also you can see this you know the style at the bottom you can see her shoes it's like it's not covering everywhere but you know you can really see some style in it so she killed it too you did justice to that dress and that dress did justice too okay so next on the list is cleo ice queen oh my gosh this lady right here man let me pause for a second this is nice guys like this is nice i know most people online like they're saying all oh, the boobies were showing too much Nsanje, you guys jealous who will kill you this person looks nice and i actually saw a comment on one of the posts was saying oh uh what is kaladosha gonna do you know she's showing off too much people let us stay now. This person right here, she looks beautiful. And also, even if you say what well, cleavage is all oh, blah blah blah, who cares? It's her body. Uh uh, show what your mama gave you. Uh uh, you. This is actually nice. I like how it fit her. It was just like a classic outfit, simple but sure. And it's actually, you know, like showing what you're supposed to see. In fact, what people out there are supposed to see. Okay all right all right so yeah i like this outfit her makeup is on point she's always classy she's always i don't know she's always popping you know she's always looking cute and, and the makeup have you actually noticed about the makeup guys it's nude it's not like those crazy makeup where you can't even see the face but this one you can actually see because it's nude it's not a lot it's just like minimal minimal you know because i know people overdo their colors and stuff but nude you can't go wrong with no guys so cleo killed it killed it and next on the list is francia francia you know back in the days uh francia used to sing like secular music but i think she transitioned to gospel music and from that time i feel like uh she became like you know mia like she does it low-key i think she's still in the industry but she's not really you know like loud as the other musicians so francia in this dress oh it's actually a pretty dress it's really a pretty dress because um it's actually classy too you know it's not showing a lot of you know skin you know it's covering up most of her body and everything so this one right here um i've forgotten what they call the type of outfit like the one at the bottom like the, the flared skate you know it's like a uh, bodycon flared but a little bit like bodycon because it's shaping up her waist real good so this one was good her makeup is good her lipstick she actually looks sexy y'all no homo here no homo 
okay she looks good she looks good uncle bay her husband is proud you know i'm sure he's smiling he's feeling good saying that's my wife yo she does look good <laughs> really good so uh last but not the least is this lady right here again guys i'm saying it one more time with me caroline i need to have this lid on my dress so this outfit right here it's a killing man it's so good because it's just something about this picture her face is beautiful i actually don't even know who she is yo but um she looks nice she looks happy you know she looks like she don't care she looks like her life is so you know like um like it's stable you know <laughs> like you know that point in life where you feel like um everything is going on so good you got it all under control you got it all figure it out so she looks amazing due to the fact that he has a slit and the slit has like a decorations you know like you really can't see clearly but there's something for you to see this dress this dress just look at this part too like oh uh, people people are so imaginable you know and people are so you know like creative too like this one was good you see bodycon slit you got me for those of you that know me in order to make me happy I've listed what I like. Number one, I'm gonna remind you in case you forgot. Slit, body cone. Why, Kaya? But for those of you that know, good. If you don't get it, don't get it or forget about it, okay? If you don't get it, forget it. <laughs> but yeah, slit and the body cone. Oh my gosh. Moving on to the next one, the next phase actually, which is the men. Yeah, so number one on the list is this fine young man. So, guys, don't judge me. I'm gonna compliment men. The way I'm gonna compliment men is not gonna be the same as I'll compliment a woman or women, females, or whatever you call it. So, these are men, you know, respectfully. So this fine young man, he is really killing it because he looks so clean. This is a clean outfit and he picked a really nice jacket which actually suits his body type. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't look too big, it doesn't look too small, it just fits his body. Munche munche, you know, like he looks nice. The next is this dude I actually picked him because I feel like he looks like Otile Brown a little bit for those of you that don't know Otile Brown he's a Kenyan artist like he's a musician so they kind of like look alike and also you know he picked something that fits his body real good and he looks nice he's looking classy this is actually a very nice outfit on him it fits him like real good then we're gonna talk about Costa Monza. I think that's Costa Monza right here. This is Costa Monza. It's been a while, guys, so like I can't forget. If I'm wrong, please forgive me. But he looks nice. This outfit looks humble. It looks decent. It looks, I don't know. It, it just looks well mannered, you know. Like it's just somebody who settled down, who has their life figured it out. They're doing so good. I might be wrong, yo, because everybody, you know, they have their own moments and stuff, but he looks great in this outfit actually like green and oh i don't know if it's green or emerald but it looks like green green and white which looks nice also his shoes whew, it's hot <laughs> i'm a fan of white stuff white clothes white shoes white purse guys you can't say nothing bad about his outfit he's killed it he's killed it all right so let's move on to the next one this is a fine dude right here he's a fine dude and the outfit he has has done him justice like really 
that's some justice right there. Like I said, it was that's something about white and green, a white emerald. So this man looks nice. He looks really nice. Um, also, the color has, you know, helped him because, you know, I don't know. He just looks cute. I have nothing more to say on this one. Next is these two gentlemen. It's actually like, you know, I said I'm gonna pick 10 pairs. So this one, uh, there are two. So I'm gonna like compliment uh, individually that they're like, you know, on the same picture. So the one, the one who has, I don't know if it's a bandani or I don't know what you call it, like at the black thing right here. Uh, he looks nice. I mean the colors were not like too bright like they were like neutral colors and it's actually You know like making him look decent, you know looking like a man who would uh, Respect the female, you know, like it just looks like those type of men that would open the door for you You know like on a date or you know a man who would hide flowers you know just to surprise you on a nice date okay enough i'm not gonna <laughs> talk a lot on that but he looks nice i like the colors they look good again it's you know something about neutral colors they are not too you know like too bright just like you know good so the other man on the other side on the other side yeah he looks nice. I actually like his jacket. Like it looks classy. It looks like um, the jackets that some of our fathers had or uncles or you know elderly person. But uh, he's made it look so nice because he is not that old, but uh, he's killed it. So it actually brings back you know like old days where you see old folks dressing up like this. I know I wasn't there, but you know there's videos, there's movies, music videos and stuff. So. He looks good he looks good and that outfit would be nice and you can actually go to church with this outfit because it's you know modest you can go you know to a job interview you can go to you know like the hospital you can you know like go to those respectable places with this outfit and nobody's gonna say nothing at all next one is this man right here there was something about this picture I was like wow when I first saw his picture, I was like, oh my gosh. Something about him, you know, like he looks like one of those guys like in movies who could be a starring, you know, like after, you know, he's, you know, finished everybody and now he's working to see his progress. He's like, I've really done it. And you know, like he has some gloves. He has like, God, uh, I've done my shades, my standards, my glasses, whatever you call it, guys, forgive me, but this picture right here is good <laughs> this like that's amazing it is amazing to see you know like people dressing up so good like it's just an inspo guys like it's an inspiration because he killed it this one right here is the g next one is this this guy right here um i've seen him on many you know like pictures fashion shows magazines and uh this outfit actually picked him because i know a lot of people like hitting on him they're saying like he didn't look nice blah 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 i feel like he was classy you know like i like his jacket i like his uh trousers his shoes it's actually classy because even the umbrella that he's holding i mean guys is that a cigar in his hands i don't know maybe it is but i don't know but he looks nice he looks nice he looks nice uh i know this guy he's a fashion killer so i wouldn't say anything bad like he you know he inspires people with his you know dress code hmm. yeah so I'm, I'm not gonna say a lot because i don't really follow him but i've just seen him on so many you know events or whatever next one is this humble man Ooh. this man when i looked at his picture i was just thinking a lot like a lot was running through my mind guys i was like whoa have you actually seen his smile guys like for real 
let's do justice here. Let's do justice. In fact, let me put my laptop down. This man right here, he looks humble. He looks modest. He actually looks like those men that will, you know, um, come to your house, you know, if he wants to marry one of your siblings. You know, he will pay, you know, like on dates, he would offer to pay. Uh, he would also you know like leave you with something for tough time and also he looks like he's <laughs> he's one of those men like if he's part of your family like you can rely on him like you can um you know like go to him if you need anything you know he actually looks like i don't know like he looks decent and his outfit the shoes oh my gosh for me when it comes to men the first thing that i notice is his shoes and these shoes right here these shoes hmm <clears throat> They're actually nice. They're actually nice. Actually, if I had, you know, like somebody with this type of shoes, you know, like if we live in the same household, I would polish na kiwi, kiwi polish. You guys, you know kiwi. Yeah, I would polish his shoes so that you can choke up a new bar. Smart. Shine. Yeah, so this man he actually killed his outfit, you know, like everything is on point, everything fits him so good, and also he looks happy. That's what matters, you know. Like if you wear something, like you know, if you wear an outfit, you need to look happy. If you look happy, like that shows how confident you are in, you know, in what you fit, you know, something that is gonna represent you. So this guy right here, he did justice, his smile, oh my gosh, sir. Mm. So next one is CQ. Next one is CQ, guys. CQ. <sighs> Let me breathe. Let me breathe. CQ. Mm. Actually, the, this outfit, yo, it makes me um remember the uh, show on Netflix. I think you know, for those of you have seen Bridgerton. It actually makes me feel like you know like it was like a royal outfit you know like um, making it seem like he was you know he's from a royal family he you know maybe his father is a king was a king or maybe he's gonna be the next king you know like it's just something royal about this outfit right here and also like there's another show on Netflix called Brain so he looks like he could be part of it because this outfit right here it just shows uh, I don't know it's just like royalty royalty Igwe, Igwe. CQ, you killed it you killed it like i've said guys white green we're good we're good so CQ, you sir you did justice oh my god so yeah that was you know that was the people that i feel like were the best dressed like i said um it was just 10 that i picked 10 females and 10 males because um i didn't want to you know like say something otherwise but rather um appreciate what these people have done they've inspired us fashion wise everybody is entitled to their own opinion so the only thing that we can do is respect each other's opinion and not feel offended or you know like uh be mean or nasty about it so let us respect each other's opinion and also if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you know like and share this video with your friends also i'll see you in my next video bye bye don't forget to subscribe like and hit notification.